Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2. Today we're back on our East Yorkshire series where we're down by uh, York Queen's Annoyed Station which is a uh, not particularly funny parody of uh, London at King's Cross given that that is the asset that we are using. Now we've got 24.5 million in the bank, 25 million now goodness me. Uh, there's not a lot going on here is there, let's face it. We have got it set up so it can take cargo and, uh, and passenger and in the last episode, well it was the live stream wasn't it, uh, that we were looking at, uh, we did start getting some machines going. Uh, now I don't actually know if we've made any machines yet, we have, look there's some machines there waiting for the York machines train. I don't know where that is. Whereabouts are you? You're, you've just left almost full. Look at that. We're taking machines almost full. For some reason there's a couple of uh, bumps on those ones. I don't know why. Who knows? Maybe there's bigger machines in, uh, in there. This train's setting sail for York now. So it's going to come down here, round on the curve that we built, and then up uh, to Queen's Annoyed here. Now it seems to be able to, uh, is, it, is it, we've got it picking up there, have we? No, that's the commercial... The industrial even uh, yeah have we what are we doing in terms of see that's the nothing waiting what what's going there anything nothing can't remember did we did we manage to can't, I can't remember where the machines are going should we uh, should we have a look on on the building thing right so the machines are all going over there uh, we could do I mean you are pretty much picking up I can't, I can't click you can I you are picking up most of it, but we do need to sort of put a little a little doodah down here. Now, if we put a freight station here, are you going to be able to... Are you going to link to the station? No, you're not. What about if I put one here? Okay, not linking to the station again. So it would need to go sort of here. I mean, that would work for any goods dropped off at Queen's Annoyed. We could put you there. So you're linked to the station, and then we could just have a little shuttle truck... There we go, Upper York to uh, York Branch. So you could be... Oh, no, don't delete the line. No, you've only just put it in, for goodness sake. Truck York Machines. There we go. And that just means that we've got a full coverage of the uh, the York Machines. There. We'll, have a, we'll just use these Volvos. What can you carry? You can carry machines. Can any of the other ones? You can as well. On a flatbed. Let's put two of you in and see what happens. Uh, York machines. There we go. Uh, we do have a couple of trains in and out, but what I want to do today, seeing as we've got the machines on uh, on route, we need to look at goods. But what I want to do, we've got a lot of passengers waiting there for Queen's Annoyed. I think the majority of people here are going to Hull. Uh, yeah, 49 for Hull. Right, so we shall, out of the 158, we shall take uh, that service and put an express line in. Now, how much, how fast are you actually going down here? Uh, well, if you looked at the speed limits instead of the land use, you might actually see a, a better result. So, 60 miles an hour. Now, I want to use 125. I want, I want. I want never gets. Has nobody ever told you that? Yeah, but I'm in charge, so it does. Right, go, go that way. Yes, right, okay. Keep it flat. Keep it flat, yep, lovely. Same again, just from there, straight out like that. Look at that. And what we will do is we will have uh, a, we'll upgrade it. Yeah. Where's the upgrade button? There we go, the magic wand tool. You've been playing Transport Fever how long? And still looking for the upgrade button? I know, I know. Uh, we're gonna keep this at 125 mile an hour. That's a bit exciting, isn't it? Then we'll drop it to 100 for about here. For, for there, there we go. 100 mile an hour coming in, dropping to uh, to 25 there. In fact, it's all 25, isn't it, all the way around. So we'll, we'll leave it at that. Yeah, 125. We're going to have some 125 mile an hour uh, running here. Now, obviously, we're not going to have 125 mile an hour trains because this uh, the year is 1931. 125 mile an hour was a thing of dreams for the people in 1921. Uh, 1931 even. Get it right? Oh, look at the little bus. But obviously this is just sort of future proofing. Ooh, look at that. An ET165 Series R2. Looks distinctly Berlin-like. I think I might have accidentally uh, set that going when uh, when we really did not need that to go uh, to be in this series. Right, there we go. Keep it flat. Perfectly flat. We want high-speed trains running down here. So, uh, yeah, perfectly flat, please. 
I don't know if we're ever going to run 125 mile an hour trains down here, but it's worth uh, it's worth putting it in and future proofing. Can we make that a little bit lower? We can. Quite a few people were saying since the last game update, it has really struggled with building bridges. Who knows why? Goodness only knows why. It used to always manage before, didn't it? So what we'll do is we'll, we'll build you to there. Hmm. Doesn't look terribly organic, does it? But it'll be fine, it'll be fine. Uh, and then what we'll do is we'll bring you down here so that we can avoid the coal mine. There we go. Let's keep you as a, as a that. Splendid. Right, bring you up there. Again, even if we just use something like a 350, we can still get it running at 110 miles an hour. Right, why are you not... Oh, right, okay. There we go, that'll do. Have we got... We've got no sort of... We don't really need a bridge there, but what we'll do is we'll put a bridge there, because, you know, it just keeps it looking a bit more... I mean, there's no support there. I'm not too keen on that. What about a, a one of them? Nope, you're too high. One of them. Again, no support, but it, it's sort of a, a one of them, isn't it, that bridge? Oh, no. Wooden bridge. Did not mean to do that. Goodness me. Right, delete you. Just a, a normal bit of terrain will suffice. Thank you. Now, I did see a little bit of uh, 73. Why are you there? This is, this is meant to be 125 miles an hour you know, line speed. Why would we want 73 miles an hour? The answer is, I don't know why you would want that. Right, so keep it at 125 over there. It's a completely ridiculous line, isn't it, to be honest with you, but uh, right, we'll bring you out there at 75. Yeah, it's a ridiculous line, but between the two cities we are going to see a growth in demand, aren't we? Right, what's that looking at there? We want to make sure that that ballast isn't over the... So that would be fine. That would be more than fine. Right, keep you there. Another train setting off. Where are you going? I don't know. I don't know where he's going, but uh, hopefully he's going to make us some money. Apart from that, we don't really need to know where he's going, do we? 125 there. Lovely. So, I mean, that is pretty much a high-speed direct line. We've just got a little kink there uh, where, obviously, we go over that bridge. But I don't mind that. I really don't mind that at all, to tell you the truth. It's pretty much a... Uh, it just makes for a bit more interesting running, doesn't it? So, we'll put a signal on here. Oh, we've unlocked colour lights. Right, okay. We're going to use colour lights for aspect. Auto sig, yes. Oops, not there. Delete that. And that has auto sigged us all the way to this junction, which is excellent. Put you there. Are you going to auto sig all the way down? You are. Oh, you beauty. Right. Pop a bit of signal in there. Bit of signal in there. And then we'll take this signal out. Oh no, that was not the uh, that was not the desired result there. Goodness me. Right. Okay. Let's just put you back in. Guns and roses, that wasn't what we wanted. Right, off you go. I mean, it got rid of the signal. There's no denying that it did get rid of the signal, but uh, not in the way that we wanted it to. Now, let's have another uh, another train into Queen's Annoyed in the passenger section, please. Uh, right, what, what platform are we dealing with here? So, platform, should we go with platform four for this one? Yeah, and I think, uh, right, just Queen's Annoyed straight down to Hull. Straight down, that'll do. Straight down the fast bit. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Right, so at Hull, we can use any platform. And up at Queen's Annoyed, uh, can we can we go there? Right, so what can we use? Platform 4, that appears to be down there. I don't, I don't really want you down there. I sort of want you in the middle. So what platform are we looking at here? 3? Ah, 3. Right, you can't get across with 3. Alright, we'll go with we'll go with 6. No, we've already got something on six. Seven. That'll do. And then you cannot go to three. You can go to six and eight like that. 
like the other set. Where does the blue line come in on? Okay, and where does the green line come in on? There. Oh yeah, you can see it's just a just a tad darker. Okay, so you will be train York to Hull Express. That'll do. Right, we've got no depot here, have we? So we'll need to go down to Hull. We need some proper trains that we can use on there. Hopefully we've got, like, the Mallard at this point. I can't remember if we've unlocked it. We could use a Berlin U-Bahn. We could, or an S-Bahn even, but we're not going to, because that would be a tad unrealistic, even for me. Uh, right, doesn't appear we've got the Mallard just yet, but we do have the LNERW1. A lot of power, not a lot of speed. What about you? You can do 75, 70, 80. Ooh, 70, 70. So we're currently on the LMS High Pressure Fury. Uh, that is our current engine. 70, 55, 80. Right, the Royal Scott. Oh, I like the Royal Scott. What's got more? You've got more power. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling... I mean, it's not going to be you, is it? You've got no power at all. It's going to be the high pressure. It's got to be the high pressure. So passenger wagons, we've got LMS... We could use LMS with LMS coaches. Now we're talking. Look at that. What about an eight coach train? 160 capacity. 35 million. We can't afford that. All right. How about a six coach train with 120 capacity? We can afford two of them. There you go. So the York to Hull Express. Off you go. Make me proud. What passengers have we got waiting here? I think we might have crashed the game. Oh, no, no, we're there, we're there, we're running. The York to Withensee via Broomfleet. Quite 15 are going to Queen's Annoyed. Look at this. It's like our first proper express fast train. The coaches are not the same colour as the Loco, which is brilliant. Uh, that's exactly what we were aiming for there. We didn't want unity at all. For goodness sake. Oh, it sounds good, doesn't it? The, uh, the sound's pretty decent on that. I'm happy with that. What I am going to do is I'm going to move the platform because for some reason it's put us in here. I think Hull will be better on platform 2, our express. In fact, no, do you know what? We'll put it in on platform 1 because platform 1 is like, you know, the premium platform, isn't it? There's only two of these, they're not the most frequent service out of it, but uh, yeah, I'm hoping with the, the new speed that we've got, it will hopefully, uh, it'll kindle some results, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Look at the sounds, oh, look at the sounds, you can't look at the sounds, Joe, you moron. Uh, yeah, listen to the sounds. I don't know where this chap thinks he's going. You've come all the way over to go back over, you know you could have just gone down there and we could have set off. No? Could have done that chose not to. Never mind. And away we go. I mean, you can actually see from the coupler on the local, it's not actually coupled to the carriages. You might have to sort of squint a little bit to see that, but uh, yeah, coupler's not connected. Blow me number. Right, off we go. York Queen's annoyed. The next stop, we have a whole two passengers on board. Whole two passengers. We've got no loan as well, which is good. We've got someone else coming past there. That'll be one of the stoppers. That is full. The York to Withensee service. I'm hoping this will take some, uh, you know, some pressure off. We could use Voyagers for this in the end, couldn't we? Something high speed. Do like a Voyager. I seem to be in a minority. Nobody else likes Voyagers, but I do. Right, let's have a look. Can we get a good shot? You can't really zoom in, can you, on this game? Around the corner there, look at that. That is, that is beautiful. I mean, we're doing 50 mile an hour already, which, what is the, uh, the current speed, the land speed record for this thing? Uh, what can you do? You can do 75. Okay, so it can only go marginally faster, but it's express and it cuts this massive great big corner 
off through Broomfleet and, you know, it doesn't stop as often. And when it can do 125, obviously none of the uh, the regional stuff will be able to do 125. So that's, that is good. Let's have another screenshot. Look at that. I love it. 59 miles an hour. Should we go and, uh, we'll, we'll sit in the passenger compartment. Ooh. Nice. It's a little bit low poly. Oh, we've accidentally fallen through the ceiling. Look at that. Travelling with the Joe Ahead group. What's not that like? Not what? Uh, can't speak. What is not to like? Going over that fantastic bridge there. Holographic trees as well seem to keep disappearing as we're driving past. They're not quite sure if they're there or not. 68 miles an hour now. This is like revolutionary for York and Hull. I do not think that this is going to make us any money whatsoever. But, you know, it's a, uh, I mean, York to Hull Express, 17 passengers, okay. Well, there's room for growth, isn't there? Uh, we could also, we've got buses to Merton and Weldrick. We could do with a York to Merton bus. Could do with the York to Merton train as well, couldn't we? Uh, but what we will do, we've got a bus station there already, is uh, we'll, we'll put a bus in, just to, you know, keep the demand going. So where are you going? What routes do we currently have? I'm, I'm not sure. Oh, that's the, the current bus service. Ah, it's a circular, isn't it? Right, what we'll do is we'll put you there. Another bus stop there. Lovely. And then we'll come through here. We'll go round there like that. How's that suit you? We'll, uh, we'll pop a bit of roadage in there. You can see where the new roads have appeared. Uh, wait, right, okay. We won't have an inter-town road. It doesn't really go far enough, does it, from Merton to York to warrant a fast road? Right, there we go. Round there, past the station. Grange Road, round here, New Street, Church Lane, and just sort of do a little little tour around Merton there. That's nice. Uh, Merton Central, let's, let's get you on the other. I don't know why it always plumps to use the same thing. Same platform. Or, like, road. Oh, no, the Brighton Bell. We could have used that. That would have looked good. Right, so you will be the bus. York to Merton. Merton. Mer minus, minus the M. There we go. That's better. Where's my depot? What buses have we got? We'll use... I think we'll use eight of them. I know that like the Merton bit's not going to be particularly busy, but again, these bits here around York, I just have a feeling that that's going to get a little bit hectic. Might not. I could be talking rubbish. Usually am. What's this here? 70 out of 110. They're lovely coaches, aren't they, that we've got on there. Really, really lovely coaches. Where's our train? Is he, uh, is he still powering along? There he is. With the whole two passengers. It says two passengers. It's probably one driver and one conductor. Oh, no, because it's steam, so they'll need a fireman as well. So maybe they've accidentally left the guard behind. I mean, it's a possibility. Hopefully they haven't. Look at that. 80 mile an hour flying along. See, those other Brighton Bell coaches were lovely, weren't they? But, uh, oh, look at that. revolutionary what have we got now going back York to Hull Express 38 passengers that's good have we dropped off the goods yet it doesn't appear we do I can never try it no it's that one with the pretty carriages I don't know where the goods are. Are they are they still on the way, the machines? I don't know. We've probably dropped them off, to be honest with you. We have there. Look at that. One and a half million. How many can you carry in total then? 28. So that would be 140. How many have we got waiting? It's no use looking in Snaith. Machines, 101. Right, okay. So it's going to be a busy train going back again. Let's 
and it's just shot on wood planks, really. We did up the production of wood planks, didn't we? I know we upped the production of lumber. Because didn't we get... Have we not? Are we not taken from another forest? Did I not? Did I not do that? No, we didn't. We might need to take from another uh, another place like that. Snaith planks. Have we got a train coming in? We have, and you will be able to take everything that's there. So yeah, we might need to look at bringing some more lumber. Can anyone see another forest? Uh, I can't. Oh, we've got one there. Right. Okay. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I'm I'm not going to put a train on this one because it's actually quite close. I don't know why we didn't use this one to start with. So we'll just have one platform. There we go. And we'll just use a, a 60 mile an hour road because we're getting to the uh, <clears throat> excuse me we're getting to the time now where trucks can take over for shorter uh, for shorter journeys because they actually get up to a good enough speed. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll bring you around there, and then we'll just bring you sort of cross country like that. No, that's ridiculous. Uh, right, just follow the land. Keep it going. Yeah, lovely. And we need to tie up to that road so we can make use of that. Oh, beautiful. For some reason it doesn't struggle with road bridges. Who knows? But that is pretty. I like that. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Right, so you're going to go round like that and straight down. And then, do you know what? I'm feeling generous, so we'll uh, we'll upgrade this road. We can't because Numskull here built the uh, built it too close. So what we'll do, that'll have to be a small road. There we go. It'll have to just taper in and be a bit narrower. But we'll put the, uh, we'll put the drop off just here. How was that? Maybe maybe change the platform to the other side. That is nice. Look at that. Beautiful. Beverly to Market Wheaton. So, or Market Wheaton. So we have a truck Market Wheaton Lumber. How many did you reckon, Paul? Who's Paul? Why are you asking him? I don't know. Someone called Paul. Shout out from the audience. Mm, I thought 10 was a good number as well. We could have actually used a better depot than that. Yeah, well, we'll go with 10. Good shout, Paul. Can't afford 10. Can't afford anything. There we go. Borrow some money. That's always the answer. 10 of them. Uh, truck, market weight and lumber. Excellent. Right, okay. Pay that money back now. How fast can those trucks actually go? Should we have a look? What's your max speed? 37, is it? Yeah, 37 mile an hour. I mean, that that will get quicker. And it means that our trains will be able to take more planks to here, so they'll be able to make more machines, so they'll be able to take more to York. It, it really is sort of a, a no-brainer, isn't it? But what we will do while we're here is we'll pop, a, pop one of these doodars on the end. Like that, so we can, you know, if trains do drop off. We need to also make some goods, don't we? I, I hadn't given the goods a, a second thought. We've got some goods making facilities there. I think that's what we're going to have to look at next time, to be perfectly honest with you. You're the Hull Express. 52 passengers on board. Look at that. I don't know why you're setting off already. You may as well wait a little bit. Should we, should we have a look in the old timing section? Maximum stop time. Infinity and maximum stop time infinity. Just just stop as long as it you know, as long as it takes to space yourselves out, guys. There's no point running two trains, one of them full and one of them empty. Or one of them not remotely full and one of them completely empty. See that's got quite a few passengers, but we have got six trains running on the uh, on the with and see stopper. the Octahull Express again 42 passengers what are you you're the uh, the Holmesy to Snaith local and you're the Hull to Selby Express see why have you not crossed over there because if you crossed over there this chap would be able to come into the station 
Oh, that's a hull to Selby Express. I mean, to be fair, at least he didn't have to stop, did he? So, uh, so that'll do. What are you all waiting for? The hull to Selby Express, that's a good thing. The yacht to Withensee uh, Stopper wants to go via Broomfleet. There's quite a lot of people waiting for that. Where is the next one? That's the Hornsey to Snaith local. So it'll be round here, won't it? Where we're looking. I don't think they've properly spaced themselves out yet looking at it. It is all making a, a massive amount of money though. To be fair, I might want you to be a little bit quicker. No, there's nothing we can do. Not with the not with the lack of funds at the moment. I mean we've just literally lost seven million. How did we lose seven million? It was there. We had ten million in the bank and now we've only got three and a half. Where did that go? You've got 80 out of 130. Yeah, that's good. You've now got 150, so you'll be going back full. But again, you know, there's there's a lot waiting here in terms of... 640? Are you mad? Right, well, I'll tell you what. While we're here, what speed can you currently do on the old track? Uh, 60 miles an hour. Right, if we bring you out there... Keep it at 60. I mean, you're not going to be doing 60 by that point, are you? But if we... Oh, I picked the wrong side of the track, for goodness sake. I knew, I knew whichever side I picked it would be the wrong side. There we go. Right. Build that. Keep it going. Build. Go, go, go. No. Collision. Why are we colliding? We're not colliding anymore. That's good. Splendid. Right, get you on there. Signals one way. Yes, actually, we do. It's auto-sync we don't want. And then we'll put one signal in the middle, just because we can. Why not? So, ideally, I mean, how many can you carry? 150. We'll get another train. Not enough money. Right, there will be enough money shortly. There's enough money now. You can come out of this depot... There we go. What is it we're using? Oh, it's the GNR, isn't it? Right. My favourite uh, my favorite locomotive for goods. Then we'll need another ferry. I think. Well, we just will do, won't we? Because there'll be more coming from there, so there'll be more going down there, of course. Uh, trucks. We seem to have enough trucks. Don't think we need to worry about that anytime soon, do we? Oh, that's brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. That will probably be too many coming from here, but uh, it's fine. It doesn't matter. Have we got another oil refinery anyway? I know we've got more crude oil places there. Because if we had another oil refinery, I don't really want to send everything through this oil refinery. If you know what I mean, because... Have we got another one? We've got one there, North Therabee Oil Refinery. Because we'll have to send a train from there to there, because that can make the oil that makes the plastic for the goods and then we can keep the goods the plastic and the uh, and the goods separate uh, plastic and fuel sorry separate that might be a good call because that can be just done by truck mmm yeah I thought that by now Hull might have um, started requiring some more goods doesn't seem to, does it? Although it is, look at that, it's building on the other side of the tracks, that's brilliant! Because this is just going to keep expanding outwards, isn't it? And it's going to look so cool. I mean, it already does, look at that. This is like my, my favourite bit. I'm not going to lie to you, this is my favourite bit. Where you can sort of go like that and see the buildings on both sides, see the track submerged, and by submerging your track as well, uh, I think your emissions are enormous. Uh, what about current? Okay, Yep, they're quite loud. Yeah, okay, there's a there's a lot of emissions. There's more over here though, so you know we're uh I suppose that's the that district, yeah. Well, you live next to a railway line, unfortunately. If you nationwide next to a railway line. Oh look at that, we've got Greg's as well. What else have we got? Entertainment CEX, Coach and Horses, Tony and Guy. Nat West. Thomas Cook. Ah, oh, lovely. Lovely. Beautiful. That's actually really cool. I don't remember downloading those, but uh, yeah, Greg's, Recorder, Costa, Post Office. 
That's awesome. Hayes Travel, Laura Ashley. Oh, it's, it's fantastic. I love it. Right, well, there we go. That's where we're going to leave it for today. In the next episode, we are going to have a look at getting some goods going to York. We want that to sort of fill the corner and be a right mega city, don't we? If you've enjoyed the video, then please do click the like button. It's always appreciated. And uh, if you haven't already and you're new to the series, do consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any future episodes. As I say, thank you so, so much for watching, and hopefully I shall see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.